Now we are starting the next topic in variant workbook, which is preferences. So if you look at the earlier recordings, which you did for the variant workbook, we have drawn the different kinds of the budget, budget constraints, budget lines, right? Now we are on the same kind of graph. We are going to draw the preferences, right? Indifference curves. So most of you would know what I'm going to do today, but uh, there is no harm in just starting it from the starting point. And uh, so supposedly there is some individual, right? Suppose you like to consume two goods. XA and XP. Suppose you like to consume XA and XP. And uh, you consume 20 units of XA and uh, 5 units of XP. Let's say. Right. And the point is that the set of the bundles XA, XB is, I mean, you need to find out the indifferent bundles. Uh, the set of consumption bundles XA, XB such that the consumer is indifferent between XA, XB and 25, right? That the set of This is just the question. We have not started up writing or drawing the answer yet. Set of the consumption bundles. <clears throat> XA, XB. Such that you are indifferent. You are indifferent between uh, XA, XB, <clears throat> between consuming XA, XB and 25. Is given by, let's say, XB equals to Hundred upon x a. It is given by this, hmm. and supposedly, if we want to write the set of the bundles where you're consuming x a x b and you're indifferent between x a x b and the another set of bundle, let's say ten fifteen, you're indifferent between them. That is given by x b equals to one fifty by x a. So the idea is from this expression, you have XA, XB equals 200. And from this expression, you have XA, XB equals 250. So you can easily find out those points of XA and XB, which are going to give you 100, right? So those points of XA, XB, which are going to give you 100. So let me just... Well, this has one, this has two. Two set of points which are going to give you 100. Right? It could be anything like, for example, 25, 520, 101, 100, and so on and so forth. Right. Uh, similarly, for XA, XB equals to 150. Those points of XA, XB, which will be giving you 150. So it is, let's say, 15, 10, 10, 15, 151, 1, 150, and so on and so forth. Right and so on and so forth. So if we ask you to draw an indifference curve, so this is XP and this is XA, right? Uh, so if we ask you to draw an indifference curve, which is passing through this XA, XB equals 200, right? Passing through the point 20 and 5. So 
here you have let's say 20 here you have let's say 5 and so on so you have this kind of the curve uh, something like this and uh, this is what x a x b equals to 100 so all of these points are giving you the same utility 100 so you might have different combinations of x a x b which are giving you 100 and then you need to draw an indifference curve which is passing through the point 10 and 15 right so you have so you have the point 10 and 15 so this is going to give you the higher utility somewhere here Hmm? Somewhere here. Right, Buddha? Tuk, 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 tuk. So it is like this. So it is XAXB equals to 150. XAXB equals to 150. Hmm. So all those bundles which you are preferring, you are weakly preferring to 10 and 15. So this is one, this is your 10, 15 Vala bundle. This is your 25 Vala bundle, let's say. Hmm? Okay. So all the bundles, beta, which you prefer to 10 and 15, which you weakly prefer to 10 and 15. So naturally, all those bundles which are lying on 10 and 15, and above than that. And above than that. These are all the bundles which you weakly prefer. Ten fifteen. So this is weakly preferred set. In 15. So when you write about weekly preferred set, it is including all the all those points on which you are indifferent to. Right? Okay. Uh, so and then you can also can you also draw the achha, for the strictly preferred set, you will not include the points which are on the indifference curve. Because indifference is where, which is giving you the same utility. In weekly preferred set, you have all the points which are giving you more utility as well as same utility as 10 and 15. Uh, in strictly preferred set, it is giving you strictly more utility. That is the point. Okay. Hmm. Then, another point, beta. A set is a convex set if for any two points in the set line segment between them is also in the set. That is the definition of the convex set. So you mean what? You pick up any two bundles in this set. So this is the weekly preferred set. So I picked up these two bundles and I've joined them by line segment. So I picked up this point and I picked up this point. Uh, so I have picked up point A and I have picked up point B and I've joined them by the line segment. This line segment is lying entirely within this set only. So this is a week. This is a convex set. 
And this is not unique to just these points. You can pick up any point on this weekly preferred system. So for example, you pick a point C, you pick a point D. They're lying within the set. Sorry, C, D. <laughs> so you pick a point, let's say C, pick a point F. They're lying within the set. So the point which I want to make is that you pick up any two points, not only these two points, any two points, and you join them with a the line segment. That line segment lies entirely within this set. Hence, this is a weekly con. This is this is the convex set. So you can say very easily that the weekly preferred set. comma 15 is a convex set is a convex set then the concept is of mrs that what is the marginal rate of substitution of the individual at point 10 10 let's say what is MRS at 10 comma 10, right? At 10 comma 10. So you will be sitting somewhere here for 10 comma 10. So what is the slope of this indifference curve at this point? 10 comma 10. That is what you need to find out. So you have X A X B equals to hundred. You will write X B equals to hundred upon X A. So, what is the slope of uh, this line? Right, this this tangent line at this point is given by dy by dx. Right. So here y is X B and X is X A. So just find out what dx A by dxb is which is going to be minus 100 upon x a square hmm? so add 10 comma 10 this dxa by dxb is going to be minus 100 upon 10 square, which is minus one. But while writing it out, we know that these are downward sloping indifference curve. So we take up the absolute value in general. So otherwise it is minus one. Now, if I ask you that now suppose um, you move from point, let's say this, let's just name this point E and let us name this point F. You move from point E to F. So is the MRS decreasing or increasing so you will find out the mrs at point this f that is 20 comma 5 so is mrs dim diminishing right uh, So, at 20 comma 5, <clears throat> what is dxa by dxb? That is minus 100 upon your uh, xa square. That is 20 square. That is minus 100 upon 400. That is minus 1 by 4. So in the absolute value, it is falling from 1 to 1 by 4, right? So the point is that uh, the indifference curve, your indifference curve has diminishing MR. So this is the case of, uh, this is the case of diminishing MR. Diminishing MR. So there are a few concepts which we have used. 
I think I have made one concept video of MRS also, test of diminishing MRS also. You can see to that. Huh? So this is the first numerical example for basic numerical example for preferences chapter. Right. I hope this was a little useful to you. Right. Thank you, Vita.